Hey guys, Corey Dickman here from Dickman Fitness. I'm going to cover really quick a common fault that we can see when we are performing a rowing exercise. So first off, there are a couple different variations. There's a high roll, like a face pull, which is good. It covers more of the rhomboids, the rear delts. And then there's it's just a standard row with a dumbbell, TRX, band row, uh, that targets more of the middle lower trap and the lats, okay? So sometimes if you see, let me give you a front view here, somebody when they start pulling back, like they're, if they're in a TRX or if they're a uh, chest supported row or a band row, the shoulders start to elevate and the elbows are out. Or maybe even they get here and they crank really far. Ends up being a lot of uh, movement within the shoulder. Taking away where you want to target it in your middle lower trap and your lats. Okay, so first off, addressing that, finding a mirror, maybe you can kind of see yourself in the mirror, depress the shoulders, abs are tight, nice neutral spine, head in good alignment here, not jetting your head forward, nice neutral uh, spine, pulling the elbows in and stopping right here and squeezing. You don't need to go too far, okay? So if you're not able to do that comfortably, lower the weight a little bit and address some of those with maybe some upper trap stretch through a neck exercise that we'll do in a second here, and then adding in some activation within your warm up uh, or in, through your regular strength conditioning routine. So first off, uh, next stretch you can do is you can take both sides, we'll start with the right side, reach back as far as you can, pull that shoulder down and back, tilt my head, tilt my ear to my shoulder, hold for 30 seconds. That'll get that upper traps. A lot of times if you're rowing and if you're super tight in the upper traps, that can lead to the elevation. Okay, so each side, 30 seconds, a few times a day, three or four times a week. Secondly, the Cobra exercise, you can do just standing without any weight or sometimes I add a band. Just take your hands to your sides and think about driving the shoulder blades down and back and together, squeeze. Not really arching your back when you're doing it, just pulling the shoulder blades together and squeezing. That's essentially what the row is. You get here, drive the shoulder blades down and back, Drive the elbow in and squeeze here, okay? So that way we can perform a row, like a dumbbell row, depress the shoulder, elbow in, everything looks good. Okay, nice controlled movements, squeezing every rep on the top, okay? Same thing on a band row. Depress the shoulders, abs are tight, nice long spine. Elbows in, squeeze, hold there. Not going too far with it, okay? So there you have it guys. Incorporate the upper trap stretch within your normal strength conditioning routine, within your warm up, throughout the day, and add in that activation so you can feel those muscles in the right positions in addition to putting yourself in a better position so you don't get injured. See you guys soon, take care.